live near an Air Force base. Earplugs may be part of the routine, but lately even some who know the drill on the north side of town are wondering what's the deal with so much noise lately. Tom George has more near Nellis Air Force Base in a story that you asked us to investigate. Well, pretty much all day out here, we've seen planes taking off and some of them are so noisy. We actually checked it out on an app and it registered around 100 decibels or more. So imagine if a neighbor was making that kind of noise at night, you'd probably want to complain. But here at Nellis, they say it's all part of routine training. Some call it the sound of freedom. I'm glad they're out there practicing and getting their maneuvers and I want them to be ready. And when you're this close to Nellis, a little noise comes with the territory. Actually, you can watch it, even TV, you, you can hear it. But while neighbors say noise is the norm during the day, lately they've noticed it going well into the night. Constantly, night, day, night, day, night, day. And these aren't your typical planes. All roof and window shakes. Setting off car alarms, shaking dishes, almost like a, just sometimes like an earthquake. It's enough for viewers to contact us wondering what's going on. Nellis tells us it's all part of a training exercise called Neptune Falcon and they're doing night flights that started on the 20th and run through next week. But is that kind of noise even allowed? The city does have noise ordinances, but they don't apply to the base. They tell us the base is a federal agency, so the city doesn't monitor or enforce activities there. But they also say they rarely get noise complaints. So for now, Nellis lucky to have neighbors willing to plug their ears in the name of patriotism. Just let, uh, slip through it, you know. I don't pay attention to that. But. Rav it up, hey, I don't mind. Like I said, I don't mind. You know, I want them to be prepared, so. And Ellis tells us this isn't permanent. They're doing those night flights through May 4th, but when you're seeing those planes take off at night, it could be going all the way until six o'clock in the morning. Tom George, 13 Action News.